Hello friends, in this video we make sulfanilic acid by the sulfonation of aniline. Sulfanilic acid or 4 amino benzene sulfonic acid is a off white colored crystalline solid. It's mainly used as a precursor for making SO dyes like methyl orange and acid orange 7, both of which I have done before. Links are in the description. Materials required for this preparation includes 10.2 grams of aniline and 37 grams of 98% sulfuric acid. Start by taking 10.2 grams of freshly distilled aniline in a round bottom flask and 37 grams of 98% sulfuric acid in a separatory funnel. Adjust the knob of the separatory funnel so that sulfuric acid falls very slowly into aniline. This can generate a lot of heat, so cooling the flask is very important. A white colored precipitate is formed and that is aniline sulfate. For cooling purpose, I used an ice bath. So I keep the flask in the ice bath, allow 5 to 6 drops of sulfuric acid to fall in the flask, lift up the flask and shake the flask well, then place it back in the ice bath for few seconds. Repeat this step until all the sulfuric acid falls into the flask. A stirring bar was placed in the flask and it was placed in an oil bath and heated at 180 degree to 190 degree celsius for 5 hours. All that time is required for sulfonation to complete properly. If oleum is used instead of concentrated sulfuric acid, only 1 hour is required for this sulfonation. Temperature must be strictly maintained below 190 degree celsius or overheating can cause charring and destroys the, our product. This is the reaction that is actually happening now. Initially, aniline reacts with sulfuric acid forming aniline monosulfate. Then there is an initial loss of water from the aniline monosulfate because of the dehydrating action of sulfuric acid with the formation of phenyl sulfamic acid. Then on gentle heating, the sulfonic acid group migrates from the ortho position to give orthanilic acid and at a higher temperatures of around 180 degrees Celsius, it rearranges to form sulfanilic acid. After 5 hours, the oil bath was removed and the flask was allowed to cool to 50 degrees Celsius. Then the contents of the flask was poured directly into 200 milliliters of ice called distilled water with constant stirring. Immediately upon adding the contents of the flask into the beaker, loads and loads of crystals start to precipitate out. This is actually the crude sulfanilic acid. The precipitated crystals have an off-white color as you can see. These crystals were then filtered by simple gravity filtration method. As it took a long time, I left it overnight. On the next day, we have loads of crystals in the funnel. So now it's time to recrystallize. 75 milliliters of ethyl alcohol was heated to boil and the crude sulfanilic acid was dissolved in it. After the complete dissolution, the contents of the beaker turned black. Then we let the flask cool down and after 24 hours, beautiful needle shaped crystals of sulfanilic acid separate out. The supernatant solution was decanted off and these are the crystals of sulfanilic acid. These crystals were then transferred onto a tissue paper and was then air dried. You can see some black color in between making the whole compound appear dull. I tried recrystallizing 2 to 3 times but the dark color did not go. That is probably because the carbon nanoparticles are getting trapped in the crystal lattice of sulfanilic acid. But anyway it's completely pure for most of the purposes including acid dye making. I got a yield of 10 grams. So that's all in this video. These are my Patreon supporters who are financially supporting me and because of their support I am able to do more videos. You can also support via Patreon or Paypal. 
The links of both of them are given in the description. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button for notifications regarding my new videos. So I will see you in the next video.